name is Daniel and in this video I will talk more about trading with a China trader. We will focus on the discretionary trading tools which are available. Let us now talk about the chart trading itself. In this scenario we won't need the chart trading bed, so I'm closing it via the action bar. Because I can also create charts directly inside the chart with a right click, which will open the chart context menu. As you see, I have chosen the global crosshair as my mouse pointer and the global crosshair is quite convenient because it shows me the exact price where my mouse is at the very moment in the price axis. It also shows me the exact time where my mouse is at the moment by having a marker in the time axis as well. With the chart trading this is very important at least to see the price on the price axis because it might Orders that I place via the chart are placed on this very price. So I'm right clicking, selecting let's say a buy stop order which I can place above the market price and an order is created at the exact price where my mouse was positioned. Afterwards I could even keep changing the order type for example from stop to limit, stop limit and so on. I could change it from a direct order to a synthetic order. A direct order goes directly to the broker. Synthetic order means it remains in a China trader until it is triggered. Once the order is triggered by the price, it will send a market order to the broker. In this case, not show up in the order book of your broker. With the left side button, Next to direct I can open and also change the settings of my order with the settings window. As we already learned I can drag and drop and move my order to a different price position. To do this I simply go with my mouse on the green line on the right side of the order box and with clicking and holding the left mouse button I can drag and drop it up or down. By releasing the mouse button, the order will remain at this price. Alright, let us create a more specific setup. I will also add a sell stop order, which is my stop loss in this scenario. And I will also create a target order. In this case, I would need a sell limit order as my target. All right, this would be my setup, but however, this doesn't mean that uh, my setup is complete. It's no strategy yet, because for a strategy, I would need order connections. If done connections, OCO connections and ORO connections are available in a Gina Trader, the if done connection, I will use it first. For a if done connection, I have to press and hold the Alt button and click on the very first bar and then connecting it with the second order bar. After that, a green line is created. This is an if done connection. By selecting the green line with my left mouse button, I can delete it again with the Del button. So let's do it again. I click the first order line, hold and press, press and hold Alt and left click and clicking on the second order line. The same I will do with my target order, so click Alt and left mouse click for the entry order and the take profit order. In this scenario now, if I activate my entry order and the price fills it, the target order and stop limit order will be also sent to the broker. However, my setup is not completed yet. I have to connect my target, my limit order now with my stop loss order with an OCO connection, which means one cancels another. In this scenario, when my limit, my target was reached, it will cancel the stop loss. Or if my stop loss was triggered, uh, it will cancel the limit, the target order. 
All right, like this, my setup is complete. It's a finished strategy. I can now submit my entry order to the broker by activating it with the checkbox next to the order size. And once I'm getting filled, okay, let's switch to a smaller time frame so it's more easier to show you a quick fill. As you can see, the price is far away in my four hours chart, which I used before. So what I can do is I click the control button and scroll with my mouse so I can scroll by the price axis. We learned this in the, in the charting video. And now I'm scrolling back again with control together with the mouse wheel. So I can adjust my stop loss now to a different, more closer position and my target order as well. I'm placing my stop order or I'm moving my stop order to the current price so I get, could get a quick fill. Here we go. So we got filled now and as you can see the if done connections they disappear because they already triggered my limit order and my stop order. And now I'm in a position and my position is protected by a stop loss which remains with the broker. So I could even close the trading platform machine trader right now and it will still be executed on broker side. As well, if my target is reached, closing my split position with a profit and it would delete my stop loss order as well. Let me show you how the opposite order bar will be deleted or the opposite order will be deleted. I will just drag and drop the limit target order to the current price so I can simulate the behavior. And as you can see, as soon as the target order was filled, my stop loss order in the very bottom was deleted. Let's build another setup. In my next scenario, I would like to use a limit order for entry. And I'm assuming that uh, the market returns to, let's say, half of the upward candle. Here the big one. And I'm using a buy limit order here now which I can place below the current last price. I will use a stop sell order as my stop loss and again a stop, stop limit order as my take profit, as my target. I have to connect it again in the same way. I'm using the, I'm using the alt button and press and hold it and then click with a left click connecting both of it. So I'm clicking the entry order and I'm also clicking the stop loss and take profit order. Last but not least, I'm again creating an OCO connection with pressing and holding the control button and then with a left mouse click connecting these two orders. As a next step, I would like to save this order as a template. In this scenario, I can just go right click in the chart, somewhere in the chart, and when I do this, I can choose settings, order template and create from chart. It opens a small window where I have to select a name, in my case, new order template. By clicking on OK, it will be saved. If I then now delete all the orders and again go to right click in the chart, settings, order templates and then choose the name I have chosen, new order template, it will reappear in my chart. I can now find this order template also in the chart toolbar. Here is the order template symbol and it will only show templates which I have created. And once I click on it, it's in the chart. And once I activate the entry order, strategy now is active and will start as soon as my entry order was triggered. Let us delete these orders and st start with a new template. This time I would like to use a short template for a short strategy. What I will create is a sell stop order 
So right click in the chart on the price I would like to place it. Then again right click and I have to choose a stop buy order as a stop loss above the market price. Then I will choose again right click buy limit order below the market price and a second limit order, a second target again with right click buy limit on the price I want to place it. So now I have an entry, a stop loss and two targets. In this scenario I have to adjust my entry order size. I will increase it to 20,000. Same for my stop loss. For the limit orders, for the target orders, I have now 2 times 10,000, which is then also 20,000, so this is fine. And again, I have to start connecting them with an if-done connection. So Alt, press and hold, and then with the left mouse, the left mouse click, I can connect the entry order with the stop loss order, the entry order with the first limit, and then with the second limit order. So. I have now one, two, three connections. After that, I have to now choose a new order connection, which is the ORO, which means one reduces another. I can create this order connection by press and hold Ctrl and Alt together, and then left click with my mouse. And in this scenario, it will create a blue connection, which is the ORO connection. To finish my strategy, I have to then create an OCO, the red connection, with my second target. So in this scenario, when my entry order gets triggered, all the other three orders are sent to the broker. When the first limit order will be filled, so I'm simulating the trade by just moving the entry order again inside the price, it will fill it. And as you can see, all the other orders are now also sent to the broker and only the OCO and ORO connections remain. If I move up my first target, which is OCO connected to the current price to simulate that this order was now filled as well, you can see that the order size is now decreased for the entry order, of course, but also for my stop order. And if I drag and drop down the stop loss order now to simulate that it is triggered, it will delete the remaining target, my remaining limit order on the opposite side as well. And in this case, I have, a, I have a finished trading strategy. And as you can see in my trade manager, I'm getting new snapshots and can now analyze my trade. All right, let's do a short summary. We learned the chart trading and it is possible inside the chart with right clicking somewhere in an empty space of the chart. We had to choose a buy or sell orders for order creation. We had to also select from different order types, market orders, limit, stop and stop limit orders. We learned that we can, uh, that the price for the order is aligned to the price axis. So it is very useful to use the global crosshair or the, the regular crosshair as a mouse pointer. We learned that the order parameters like the order size is adjustable via the trader bar box even after the order was created. We learned that there is a track and drop system for moving the order on a different price level. And last but not least, very important, we learned how to create trading strategies with order connections. We had if done connections, OCO means one cancels another and ORO means one reduces another. And of course, if done means if my first order gets triggered, then the other orders are sent to the broker as well. All right, this is the end of this video about chart trading. There are two more videos to come about dome and quick trading and about hotkeys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video.